everybody! Thanks for checking out my infrared sauna vlog and Happy New Year once again. We're a week into the year and it started off with a huge bang. We just got through a big eclipse and so there's a lot of energy, expansive and creative energy in the universe that we can harness and use to our benefit and hopefully for our highest good. Um, Please subscribe. I'm, you know, putting a lot of time and energy into getting this information out to the world. And I think that it's really important that we all understand the universal laws and spiritual laws and try to really embrace that to become more expansive in our consciousness and more uh, operating from our heart chakras. And so um, please subscribe. You will definitely learn something and hopefully I'll help you in some way that's very positive. So I'm going to be putting out a lot of new content this year. I'm very excited. And the first series of um, vlogs I'm going to do with the with In the Sauna is the series on the 12 spiritual laws or the 12 universal laws, 12 energetic laws. These laws basically tell you how the universe works and how you can use the energy to manifest everything that you want in your life. Okay. And I'm going to do it in my sauna, which is where I sit and I detox and I sweat and I meditate and I really get to a higher vibration just by contemplating life and the human existence and how I can actually raise my vibration and also help others. Okay, so today I'm starting this series about the spiritual laws. In my last vlog, I talked about what those are so that people could start, you know, contemplating that. And in this one, I'm going to talk about the first one, which is so important conceptually. And once you really grasp it and you really realize that if this is the truth, which it is, then how can I be anything but positive? Because it's my responsibility to be positive. But basically, the first universal law is the law of divine oneness. That basically means that everything in the universe is energy and everything, if you break it down to the teensiest, tiniest little particle is still energy. And so I almost look at it like when you can see smoke in the air, you know, those are teeny tiny particles, but they're visible to the human eye. But when you break it down to the even smaller, 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 smaller than microscopic particles, the quantum particles, they're still energy and they can be affected because energy can be changed. And so therefore, if everything is energy, we are energy, we have energy. And so we affect the energy around us. Okay. And so one really great way to describe it is the word namaste, which you may hear or have heard in yoga studios or whatever, but that is a really good single word to describe the law of divine oneness, which basically means I bow to the divineness in you, which basically says, I understand that we're all part of the greater energy. And that means, and it boils down to what we put out there affects everything around us in some way. It's like throwing a stone into a calm lake. The ripples ripple out and affect everything in the lake to some degree. Okay, so once you can grasp the fact and the really importance of the first spiritual law, then you have to make a conscious effort to go through this world and this incarnation positively because then you will send out positive vibrations to every person that comes into your, into your contact, whether it be um, digitally, correspondence wise, face to face, however it is, you will begin to send out positive vibrations that lift up and create a more positive vortex in this world, which we so desperately need. Orderly. So if you can grasp the concept of divine oneness, that'll change everything because you don't want to be the one sourpuss going around spewing negativity and putting like downer vibes everywhere. Well, get out of the way, man. That's not okay. Okay. So 
embrace the concept that everything is connected and that everything you do as you go through your day can affect everything in this world that we know. All right. Universal law. Well, number one, check that off your list. Okay. So now I'm going to meditate on that myself. I know this light is pretty intense, but it's pink and I really wanted some pink light today, you know, expand my heart and, um, give me peace. And so I'm going to meditate right now on the law of divine oneness and how I can use that to expand my consciousness, expand my heart chakra and really make a positive impact on the planet. Okay. So once again, blessings to everybody. Blessings, blessings, blessings. I hope this information helps. Please subscribe. I want to keep giving out more information, putting out more fun, cool content. I'm going to put out a vlog because I just got back from Big Bear and went snowboarding. It really made me feel happy. So um, please subscribe and oh, peace.